The Arrow The loss of a child is unspeakable. Even gods are crippled by the grief. In the mythical, sun-drenched land of the Hyperboreans, far beyond the North Wind, far beyond Olympus, Apollo wept. He had taken refuge here amongst his giant worshippers to mourn the death of his son. Asclepius had been turned to ash by Zeus's lightning bolt. Apollo wept, and his tears turned into perfect drops of amber. Grief gave way to anger, and anger demanded retribution, a death for a death. Deep in his heart, Apollo would have liked to kill his own father, Zeus. Rebellion, the end of the world order, a new start. Many thought he could become greater than Zeus himself if he so wished it. But all he wanted was revenge for the death of his son. He left the land of the Hyperboreans, armed with an arrow of enormous size, to seek out the Cyclops. These were the Cyclops who fashioned Zeus's thunder and lightning bolts. If he could not punish the hand that had struck and killed Asclepius, he could punish those who had made the weapons. He used the arrow three times to silence the three Cyclops forever. Then he returned to the land of the Hyperboreans and hid the arrow in a winged temple. The story doesn't end there. Zeus would have struck Apollo down and killed him for his impudence, if not for Leto's intervention. She was Apollo's mother and begged Zeus, as his former lover, to spare their son. So as punishment, Apollo was instead exiled to Earth by his father to serve King Admetus for a year. Quite a humiliation for an Olympian god. <laughs> 